It was a day of grief as the families of three Chogoria girls high school students who died in a road accident on Saturday along Kenol Sagana Road mourned their daughters. The family of 17-year-old Karen Wango and Joy Bernice termed their daughter's death as a big blow as the two friends were busy preparing to sit for their Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education exams in March 2022. Lucy Mburu is a grieving mother. Lucy is still in shock following the tragic accident along Keno Sagana Road that claimed the life of her third-born daughter, Karen Wango. Lucy fell sick after receiving news of the accident. I was feeling as if I was sick. I went to, to the hospital just around and I told the nurse how I was feeling. I was feeling that I have no power. So we were not aware that our, our daughter died on the spot. So we went to the hospital, uh, trying to inquire where they could be. I was called and he went and I identified Karen. It was a very painful experience. It is after the identification that the family came to terms with what had transpired. A beautiful flower had been plucked from their garden. We talked a lot with her. We shared many things, her ambitions, challenges, and um, a lot of things. Karen was good. She was good. She was obedient. She was faithful. And she was very hardworking. Her hobby was actually dancing and singing. She was in the church choir. Mm. And most of the time, she used to download videos, people dancing, and she'd, she'd dance most of the time. The family, which is waiting for the post-mortem exercise to be conducted on Monday, have planned to bury her on Thursday. Neighbors and friends continue to flock their home to condole with the family. 12 kilometers away from Boru's home, the family of the late Joy Bernice is also preparing for meetings to plan for their daughter's burial. The late Bernice was Wango's closest friend and at the time of the accident they were seated together. It's full of life, so many things she wanted to do. God-fearing and she was joy. She, she just had that joy in her. Uh, the dad, the mom, uh, devastated. I uh, think they all need all the prayers and all the support. The family is appealing to motorists to be more cautious during the festive period to save lives. I just wish drivers can be more careful, not only during this Christmas season. I was thinking on my own if the driver was just a bit cautious. He could have waited. He could have waited and to have a clear way to overtake could have saved uh, the lives of our daughters. A post-mortem exercise for the four is expected to be conducted at the General Cargo Funeral Home on Monday before the families are allowed to bury their kin. Survivors are still receiving treatment at different hospitals in Moranga and Kiambu.